In this film, we will explain how to perform the initial setup of the suspension on your bike. Setting the correct sag and finding a good balance between front and rear is important to achieve the best possible traction and control. When you have set up your bike, go out and ride it. Then continue to adjust it until you find a setting that works for you and how you ride. You will find the spring recommendations in the manual. You can also get an individual recommendation for many bike models by using the performance suspension guide at olins.com. Make sure that the high speed compression adjuster is not in the pedal position. Pump up the fork to the correct pressure for your weight. Don't forget to include the weight of your riding gear too. On the fork there is an air pressure recommendation table on the lower leg. It is important to pressurise the ramp up chamber of the fork first to allow you the possibility to adjust the bottom out support. When adjusting the pressure of the shock or fork, it is important to equalise the pressure of the positive and negative chambers. To achieve this, simply compress the suspension a few times with your own body weight. Now it's time to get on your bike. Stand in your normal riding position. Make sure you do not pull on the brake levers during this process as it can affect the outcome. Find two points on the bike where you can measure the rear shock stroke. It can be end to end on the spring or eye to eye on the shock. A good starting point is 30% sag, but it does vary between bike manufacturers, so be sure to check their recommendation. Adjust the preload of the shock. This can be a maximum of two turns from when the preload adjuster first touches the spring. You'll need a stiffer spring if the existing spring requires more than two turns of the preload to achieve your desired sag. Ask a friend to help you re-measure the new distance between the two measuring points that you first chose. Now that you've dialed in your base setting, it's time to go out and ride. Take some time to feel how your bike performs. Fine tune your settings by adjusting the air pressure up or down, adding or decreasing the coil preload and using the clicks on the damper.